1969, July, that is when humans finally touched down and walked on the surface of the moon. Look at the dates on these paintings. They're all well before that date. This person had a tremendous imagination. Enjoy. He was a Renaissance painter with knowledge of, of, of science and logic and an amazing ability to paint. His work hit the scene at exactly the right moment to, to drive that spark, which later became a very bright flame, as you know, the space race and whatnot. Right. So he was, he was doing his best yeah, so he's astronomical, just like, you know, imaginative the... guessing as to what it should look like. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he did really well. He did. Great. Often we think scientists are, are like, kind of wrapped up in, in facts and reasons and examples and studies and experiments and driving large papers forward and whatnot. The imagination is certainly a big, a, a critical part, a really important part of being a scientist. I hope it sparks their imagination. I hope it drives their curiosity into the sciences even further. Our planet luxuriously still has a magnetic field. It deflects the material that is being thrown at us from the sun. Mars doesn't have that luxury. They'll see a connectivity here between how different types of people think about science and engineering and the future and that need for human exploration out into the the rest of the universe.